Oh, hey, Professor Ginger. Hey, are you ready to help make our video on measuring weight? <coughs> All right, let's do it. Now in front of you is a balance scale. And we can use that balance scale to compare the weight of two different objects. The balance scale will tell us which object is heavier and which object is lighter. But before we can start our video, we need things to put in the balance scale. Go on, Ginger. Go find some things in the house. Okay, scholars. While Ginger is inside finding things that we can measure, let's talk about our balance scale. What happens to the side that is heavier? Good. It goes down. What happens to the side that is lighter? Right. It goes up. All right. Well, let's measure some things to see which are heavier and which are lighter. Oh, hey, Ginger. Good. You're back. What did you bring to measure? Oh, check it out. Ginger brought a baseball and our sight word card. Hey, what word is that? <coughs> yeah, that's the word do. All right, scholars, I'm going to put the baseball in the yellow side and our sight word do card in the red side. Make your guess. Which object do you think will be heavier? Let's see if you're right. All right. Hey, Ginger, which thing was heavier? <coughs> Good job. The baseball. We could tell because the yellow side went down. The baseball is heavier than the sight word do card. Good job, Ginger. Go find two more things to measure. Oh, hey, you're back. What did you bring? <coughs> did you ask Axel if you could have his mouse toy? <coughs> all right, all right. All right, so Ginger brought Axel's mouse toy and one of our big glue sticks. All right, scholars. Which item do you think will be heavier? All right, let's see if you're right. Hey, were you right? Ginger, which thing was heavier? <coughs> yeah, the glue stick. We can tell because the red side with the glue stick is down. The mouse is lighter. The mouse is in the yellow side, which is up. The glue stick is heavier than the toy mouse. The toy mouse is lighter than the glue stick. Way to go, Ginger. Go find two more things to measure. Oh, good job, you're back. What did you bring? <coughs> oh, check it out. Ginger brought a bottle of bubbles and a blue marker. All right, scholars, make your guess. Which object do you think will be heavier than the other? All right, let's see if you're right. I'm gonna put the bubbles in the yellow side. Whoa. And the marker in the red side. Wow, the red side didn't even move. <laughs> Were you right? All right, Ginger. Which item was heavier? <coughs> yeah, the bubbles. We know the bubbles are heavier because they are in the yellow side and the yellow side is down. The marker is lighter. It's in the red side, and the red side is up. The bubbles are heavier than the marker. The marker is lighter than the bubbles. All right, Ginger, go find two more things to measure, but let's make it tricky this time. <coughs> Got it, all right. <coughs> oh, you're back, Ginger. Did you find something tricky? <coughs> yes, you did. All right, let's see what you got. You have a yellow cube and a brown cube. All right, scholars, make your prediction, make your guess. Which one do you think will be heavier? Well, let's see if you're right. 
I'm going to put the yellow cube in the yellow side, the brown cube in the red side. Hey, look, the balance scale is moving. But one side is not staying down and one side is not staying up. The balance scale is balanced. That means that both cubes weigh the same. The yellow cube is as heavy as the red cube because they weigh the same. It didn't matter that they were different colors. One brown cube weighs the same as one yellow cube. Way to go, Ginger, but that was tricky. Did she trick you guys, scholars? Oh, way to go. Thanks, Professor Ginger, for helping us make our video on measuring weight using a balance scale. Hmm, now if there were a balance scale big enough for you to fit on one side and Axel to fit on the other, who do you think would be heavier? You're not saying? Why not? A lady never tells. Fair enough. Good job, Ginger.